Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, it's Frying Pans 101, the tale of three skillets. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're talking about some basic equipment that you want to have in your kitchen. I have some frying pans to talk about, and I'm calling it the tale of three skillets. So let's get started. Here in front of me, I have three different types of frying pans or skillets. These are three of my workhorses, and every kitchen needs to have these types of pans in them. The first is a nonstick pan. This is a nice big one. I have these in several sizes. Nonstick is really good for anything being cooked on a lower heat, sauteing, sweating. It's really good for doing eggs. Why? Because nothing sticks to it. So you don't have to use a lot of oil. Sometimes you don't have to use any oil. It's just a, a great workhorse, like I said. You can saute, you can flip, but there are some downsides to it too. You don't get a lot of browning. It really doesn't take high heat very well. And I don't put this in the oven very much. Usually if I do on a low oven, just to keep something warm. However, this is the easiest of all of my pans to clean. Super quick. Not in the dishwasher, but if I have to wash by hand, this would be my choice. Great, great pans to have. One other little downside, you have to replace these every couple years. Even when you're careful like me and you only use wooden or plastic or silicone utensils, this coating tends to wear down with a lot of use and it'll start to flake and then it's not so good. So you wanna get rid of them and replace them. My next favorite, my stainless steel frying pan. Now, what's different about this? Straight sides, the others have flared sides. This has straight sides and a nice fitting lid. This pan, stainless steel, has a nice thick bottom that you can, it'll help you heat evenly. It can go in the oven. It can be on the cooktop on high heat. Now, if you're doing things like eggs in it, you do have to use a little more oil, anything that might be sticky, but you can bake in this, you can sear in this, you can simmer and braise in it. This is my go-to if I'm reducing a sauce and I want to evaporate and thicken because it has this nice wide area. If I'm braising something, lid goes on, let it just simmer, keep all that flavor in. Another workhorse. Now what I especially love about this, this guy can go in the dishwasher. It fits in mine anyway. So great pan. I've had this for years. You'll have this for years too if you take care of it. I can do just about anything in this pan. Sometimes I have to use a little more oil in it, but that's okay. My other favorite feature, tall straight sides. So when I'm making like fried chicken or something like that, the tall straight sides help reduce the splatter and contain the heat in the oil. Next is my tried and true, my trusty never lets me down cast iron skillet. And here we are. Now you've probably seen me use this pan more than any other. That is, if you watch the show, and I hope you watch all my shows, this is my, my best friend in the kitchen, really. What's so good about cast iron? This pan holds the heat. It can go in the oven, it can go over an open fire, it can go on the stovetop. It takes a high heat, it'll take a low heat. It pretty much heats evenly, not as evenly as my stainless steel pan, but it will, and it will hold the heat better than the stainless steel. What can you do with this that you can't do with other frying pans or skillets? There's nothing you can't do. You can saute, you can sweat, you can fry, you can bake, you can sear. So I just did some perfectly cooked seared steaks in this frying pan that I could not have done in my stainless steel or certainly not in the non-stick. Now, what are some disadvantages? Well, it is heavy. This is a heavy boy. Not light like this one, not as light as the non-stick. 
but it's heavy. Sometimes you want that. It makes it very stable. Other disadvantages, well, you can't put this in the dishwasher. I'm not gonna get into the care and cleaning of cast iron. We'll do that in another episode. But I'll give you a little hint. You can, despite what you've been told, use soap and water to clean it. It'll be fine. Now, these guys are just about indestructible. So maybe you have one that was passed down from your mom or grandma or great grandma. Think about that. Why do you have that cast iron pan from the 1930s? Because they never give up. They're just, just about indestructible and they'll last you a lifetime or longer. So if you like this episode, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And we will see you Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills day. Cheers.